Hey friendly neighbors, this is the first day of school here in New York City and I know a lot of you went back to school a long time ago which I think like I just have to say it's still summer. This is still summer, it's gonna be summer until September 22nd, don't let anyone tell you any different. This is some inspiration hopefully for the new school year for you guys. This is my second fun fact in a book. So I'm doing this series where I expand on my Epic Reads Fun Facts video with fun facts from the video or new ones and then I add a book to it. We have a sort of theme. So today's book is The Outsiders and the theme is that I was an outsider in high school and so that relates obviously to this book about these boys I related to so much who were outsiders and it's pretty much my fave book ever, besides The Little Prince, <laughs> because I just connected to these boys so much and I understood what it was like to grow up in an area where being different was not okay, basically. So I grew up in the middle of nowhere, New Jersey, and I was a total outsider for a lot of different reasons. Um, one is that my small town, I just felt like was really cookie cutter and people, thought the same things and acted the same way and wore the same clothes and in reality looking back it probably wasn't that harsh but that's how it felt at the time and I of course was really different like when everyone was wearing their super expensive spray sweaters with the like weird chunky geometric shapes in the primary colors. The 80s was just weird in terms of style <laughs> and I was sitting there in my 299 Kmart tee yeah, there was a bit of a difference. I was a hardcore science nerd. I competed with schools all around the state because I was that much of a nerd, which I have to say, like, why is it that being a nerd is targeted? Like, how is that a bad, bad thing? Nerds grow up and rule the world. Smart people rule the freaking world. Like, people who are different, they grow up and they do amazing things. They're the ones who change the world. The unique, eccentric innovators are the ones who change, change the world. And so just a bunch of other reasons like I had a single parent and I lived in an apartment and both of those things are more common now but back then and especially in that small middle of nowhere New Jersey town in the 80s like it just wasn't common. It wasn't my happy place. This is Karen's Hey. This is my happy place, oh yeah, with my books who are like my friends because books were my two true friends back in high school and a lot of my original friends are here on the shelves behind me. I just felt less alone, I felt understood, I felt validated when I read my favorite books because even though these were fictional characters, to me they felt real. Their experiences felt like my experiences, and I finally felt like someone got me. I was like, oh, these people understand me. Or at least the author of the book understands me because they were able to write these things that I just felt like no one else would ever understand. So I definitely felt less alone because of my books. Going home at the end of the day and reading on my bed, that was the favorite part of my day. I just loved that feeling so much about being able to escape into this other world and really surround myself with people, even though they were fictional people, who understood me. Like, this is my original copy of The Outsiders. So, yeah. So this is, wow. I mean, I'm trying to remember what year. You know, the price actually is a good indication. This was $2.50. <laughs> $2.50. And what I love about this edition of the book is it features images from the movie on the back, more images from the movie, which I was that annoying movie dialogue person who if you watched the movie with me, I would be saying all the dialogue along with the characters that was super annoying and you'd be telling me to stop and I would not stop. It smells awesome because it's so old. Nice yellow quality to it. I like how the pages have aged. And I used to sleep with this exact, oh, a piece just fell off, that's awesome. I used to sleep with this exact copy under my pillow in seventh grade, hoping for some magical form of osmosis to travel 
from the book through the pillow to my brain so that one day I could write a book that would help other teens feel less alone the way this book helped me. And if you've seen me speak at any event over the past 10 years, you've probably heard me say that Ponyboy Curtis is my book boyfriend because Ponyboy understands about colors and sunsets and things. So what was my solution to feeling like such an outsider? New York City, because I always knew I had a knowing that New York City was my true home, was my happy place, was my happy place. I just had a feeling that New York City is where I belonged because New York City welcomes weirdos. The stranger you are, the more you belong here. <laughs> it's awesome. There are no judgments. So I'm celebrating my 20th New York anniversary this year and all year I've been doing epic things and basic things and I just love walking around and feeling the energy because the energy here makes me feel alive. I love walking around during the day and looking up and noticing things I haven't seen in 20 years. I love looking out my windows at three in the morning and seeing all these lights on, just knowing all these other people are around me makes me feel less alone, even when I feel lonely. I'm really not alone. And what's cool is that because New York City has such a huge community of artists, a lot of creators are here. So other writers and filmmakers and photographers and people who are creating and producing work that is going to entertain and hopefully bring a lot of happiness to the world. And all those people are right here. And I just love that about New York City. So what to do if you feel like an outsider? If you feel like an outsider, I think what would help you is what helped me if you could envision your happy place. Maybe you already know where your happy place is and that's great. If you don't though, what you can do is just sit quietly, get in touch with yourself and feel a sense of what your happy place looks like, what your happy place feels like, because that's gonna help you recognize your happy place when you find it or when you identify it. Your happy place, your true home, that's where you actually belong. That's where you'll find your people and you will find your people because you know what, you do belong. Even if you feel like right now you don't belong where you are, I know how that feels, but I also know that there is a place for you to belong because you matter. You're here for a reason, you have a purpose, and you can never forget that. So envision your happy place, your true home. Never, ever give up. So friendly neighbors back at school, I hope you have a good year. And to everyone else who doesn't feel like you're belonging, you have your place and you will find your people. Stay strong and never give up. Till next time.